Ok, now our colleague uh, Julio Eisman from Acciona.org will, will explain the off-grid component. Thank you very much. <coughs> uh, well, uh, uh, just a, a brief uh, introduction of the Acciona Foundation. Uh, it's the corporate foundation of Acciona, uh, industrial Spanish group, and was born in maybe uh, 10 years ago, going to 11 years. And we are active in different in, uh, countries uh, like in Peru, uh, uh, Panama, Mexico, and so on. Mm. When we begin with this, uh, we began with looking for this problem of uh, en energy access, and specifically electricity access. We detected that the problem was not the technology, the problem was mainly the delivery model. So uh, uh, we concentrate our force to, to develop one specific uh, de delivery model. And this was, uh, we named it uh, Luz en Casa, Light at Home. And this is a model developed by Acciona uh, Foundation that facilitates electricity access through renewable energies to those remote and dispersed population not attended by conventional solutions, not um, be attended in by grid extension mainly. The key characteristics are uh, sustainability and affordability. Sustainability in this context uh, refers to the long-term uh, economic stability of this, uh, of this uh, initiative. And uh, this is not very easy in a context that are um, really very poor people, but uh, we try to find a way. And affordability is that this, if, if one of the, uh, let me go back, uh, about sustainability, one of the critical points is that the users have to pay for the service. This is a fee for service model. And this uh, is critical for very poor people. And the idea is to uh, have the balance with affordability. They have to pay, but they have to pay, our criteria is less that they are paying for the equivalent or worse uh, service, like uh, for the batteries, uh, to charge the, the, the telephone, something like this. This is our criteria. There are different criteria the World Bank use that uh, must be less than 10% of the uh, incomes of the, of the people. But uh, in some cases, it's difficult to, to calculate the incomes of the people, especially in the refugee camps. So we prefer to use uh, how many, uh, uh, how is the cost they are spending now, and we guarantee uh, that we are below this. And uh, we approach this with the with the market. With this, the market is uh, very, mm, uh, it's a very, uh, it's a approach that could generate some direct understanding between the users and the provider, and this is uh, 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 an important point. And this is because we uh, remark the use of fee for service. This is not, uh, also the, we had a problem with the refugee and the humanitarian sector, which is not very clear for them that they had to pay. But we will try to get the, the compromise there. Uh, we create a renewable energy service company that is uh, the responsible of the um, supply of the electricity and is uh, concentrated uh, much more in what is the service, not the products, and for low-income remote communities. Uh, the management is based on the multi-stakeholder uh, vision, and especially we create the photovoltaic electrification committee in each community we are supplying. And finally, our final purpose, of course, is the local development. So not only by the user's impact um, with, uh, with the electricity, but also creating uh, businesses like uh, the, we call the user's assistance center, um, which are uh, really uh, entrepreneurs that uh, decided to go ahead with this business, providing service to the community and uh, gain, gaining some income from this activity. Also, the moment, at this moment, we have 10 years model experience, we uh, reinforce the, the, the model, modify them, and adapt a new technology, and so on, trying to improve uh, continually. We have now three uh, RESCO in Peru, Mexico, and Panama. Uh, we have uh, near 20 user assistance centers, 
this, which uh, provide uh, the service to the us final users. And uh, the final users, uh, we have around uh, 50,000 uh, users and uh, represented by uh, near 700 uh, photovoltaic electrification committees, which implied that we are supplying electricity to near 700 communities, little village. Well, uh, I start this uh, paragraph from a document of the uh, year, and I think that this uh, reflects very well the, the situation in the refugee camps. Uh, they refer that there are 25 million people refugees worldwide. Many of them live in refugee camps during a long time. In Ethiopia, maybe the average time in, in the refugee camps are ar around uh, 12 uh, years, something like this. So uh, it's not only to maintain the people there, but the, the challenge is to increase their possibilities to develop their, their, uh, their self as, uh, as people. So uh, in this situation, the humanitarian response becomes a form of long-term development. And this is not very coordinated because the humanitarian uh, Basis are much more um, around protect the people, and the development aspect is uh, quite different. So, uh, I see that uh, all this uh, sector is in a transformation way. Uh, so, it uh, is necessary to discuss the possibility of market-based approaches implemented by a variety of development partners, and finally, uh, what is important is how could we learn from each sector. And this is the, the key point. Well, I tried in the one, one moment. <laughs> yeah, I tried to go uh, through the Google Earth, uh, travel to the dif to some to, to some refugee camps in the northern Ethiopia. We have there the three. We are active in only working in only three three refugee camps: Mayaini, Adiharus, Hisats. Uh, uh, we had the information about each of these camps. If we go into the one specific refugee camps, uh, like uh, Adi Harus, we had integrated the information we, get, uh, we got uh, uh, from different sources, and uh, we have here the, the limits of the camps. Also, each specific uh, zone, which are divided to get the address <coughs> of, e uh, of, of, of the camp and uh, also communal services and infrastructure. For instance, they are referred there, the, the communal uh, kitchen, communal pipes, churches, and different uh, ch schools, and so on. So we have all this information, but we are interested in what happened in the, in the supply of uh, electricity. And we detected and identified there the different supplier. We have uh, their own uh, diesel generator and uh, stand with some wires the, the, uh, to supply the, to their neighbors and, and they are private supplier of electricity really. With the top of them with different uh, photos, this is not the best photographer but uh, also, uh, we are interested th this uh, people is uh, interested for us because they could be well, they had this type of opinions. We had the, <coughs> the possibility to go in conflict with them or to be, uh, to expand their business with our, with our model. So it's interesting to, to, to come in with this. Uh, but also we uh, are interested in little entrepreneurs that had their own, their own shop uh, concerning uh, or selling um, telephones or char telephones also and uh, solar lamps and something like this. This is the, the, the information we got uh, from the camps. It took us about more than one year. Uh, it was a surprise for us because we, we thought that uh, this information could be uh, useful from the beginning. But in any case, now we have to uh, develop the selection criteria and then to apply this criteria in agreement with the different social organization there. <laughs> so a long way. Uh, 
about the, uh, the, the host communities, uh, we mark there are a five kilometers radio uh, circle, uh, and we identified the different communities around the refugee camps. Of course, the last one is uh, Maiseri. You can see they are behind the, in the, the, the limits of the camp. And, but uh, different with different code, uh, color code. The idea is uh, that some of them are in planning of to be electrified. Also, also uh, we have to get the information about the, the, the lines, the medium voltage lines. We have all the information of the Tigray region uh, georeference. And uh, we have into account the distance from the community to the lines, because this will be the next uh, electrification project that will uh, go ahead with the, with the Minister of uh, Energy, Water, and so on. The, the idea is uh, that we have to select uh, some of them with this is criteria. We are using criteria about the number of houses there. In this community, for instance, we have the number of houses, the, the administration dependent they have, and the distance to the lines, and so on. And we have to apply this criteria, comment then with the, with the Kebele. Kebele is the local authority. Uh, we visit all the, all the Kebele in the three refugee, refugee camps. This service is in the last <laughs> May. And And also, in the, uh, we detected the, or we identified the different, what, what we, what I say we, I refer to ourselves and the team, and especially the implementing uh, partner, SOA, that uh, has made the, the field work. And we identified they are the entrepreneurs also looking for shops that they have the business and try to expand the business to this new branch of uh, solar uh, equipment. For instance, this is the case. This is a very great case because it's a woman. We have a problem to identify because we have to have uh, half and half uh, in our, comp in, in our uh, goal of the, of the project. Very briefly, very briefly go, go to, the, to the last, no, no this one. No, the next one, the next one. The, the, the basic, uh, Difficulties we, we found there. Uh, we expected some difficulties, of course, and some with uh, difficulties like the language. Tigriña is not the most uh, popular, uh, popular uh, language in, in the rest of the world. Uh, this we, we have to manage uh, the situation, but this is a standard or normal way. But we have um, found some unexpected difficulties. One is the basic information data. We cannot imagine that in the refugee camp uh, they don't know, the administrators don't know how many, where are, in which shelter are the, the refugees specifically, or how many uh, refugees are in each of the shelters. So uh, we have to, to try to detect all this information. We are, with the collaboration with uh, XCR and NARA, we are and, and so, of course, we are uh, looking for this information. Uh, the different culture between humanitarian and development, also for an implementing partner is a problem because they are, uh, their normal behavior is try to protect the refugee, but here is that they have some possibilities, they have to assume some risks, and, uh, and <laughs> so uh, this chain of nine is, is difficult, and and uh, also they had to be combined in order to combine the, the rest of the, of, the, of the organizations. The lack of project coordination, we found uh, about uh, three or four projects, different projects, trying to do s more or less similar things, and nobody is coordinating this action. So we spend a lot of time trying to coordinate in some way or try to find synergies between the different projects. Uh, the, we found also multiple local stakeholders. There is also the same organization. They had to opinion. It has to have. We have to have their opinion in different levels, not at the national levels, the uh, camp level. Uh, so uh, 
uh, with many actors, ma uh, all of them, we had to propose and to try to check a, a final decision. And finally, uh, we didn't find any consolidation of previous experience. Some uh, there are experience, of course, that have been done in refugee camps, but there is no the knowledge uh, of the result or, or how have been working and how not. So we have to to beginning from from the field, uh, green field, and try to to consolidate our knowledge and to to send or to or, or to disseminate this knowledge to interested people. Thank you very much.